King Boo, but we got the Goom Boss. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria 1.3 Team Modeler video. We're still patiently waiting for Team Modeler 1.4 to come out, but today we're checking out a fairly decent sized mod in the Yoshi's Island mod. Now I'm not talking about like calamity size, no no no, this is more like a juice mod size mod. And there's a lot of content to go over here, we got accessories, we got transformations, we got weapons, we got explosives, we got mounts, more transformations and stuff like that and then there's probably also like a bunch of enemies and stuff i could show off here boom like look at this look how many enemies there are in this mod i think there's also bosses too so we got us we got us a decently sized video let us hop right into it though let's start with some accessories here now there's gonna be a bunch of things that are fairly similar just a different look starting with these balloons they all do the same exact thing they grant you immunity to fall damage and they're all just balloons so we'll just take a quick look at all of these there's also a star balloon which does the same thing a decorative star balloon that looks like a power star we'll start with that one boom look at that wow let me come out here where it's a little bit brighter but back to the video so boom we got that one we got the gray one can't even see it boom there's the gray one blue one pink one was that one pink yeah red one purple one black one orange yellow yellow brown green orange white and last but not least teal cool they do look really cool obviously i believe they're from yoshi's island most of the stuff is gonna be from yoshi's island but there's a couple things here and there i haven't played yoshi's island in a minute i haven't played it in a minute since i was a youngin so uh you know i may not remember everything next up thunder orb used to start or stop thunderstorms you can equip it to gain its electric powers when worn grants immunity to electrified when worn it zaps enemies who touch you immensely increases movement speed when worn all right let me see it Oh yes, feeling a lot faster. Holy, let's uh, let's put some enemies next to me. Let's let's just put some Goombas, you know? Put some Goombas. Oh, I gotta turn off God mode. All right, go ahead, hit me. Oh, I mean it, they are getting hurt, but I'm not seeing any lightning. I expected like lightning or something. Whoa, that boy sent me flying. So what else does it give me? It gives me immunity electrified. See, it says zaps enemies who touch you. I'm not seeing any zaps. Next up, we got Island Wings. Nothing was harmed while obtaining these wings. Boom, they replace our current wings. Wow, look at that. They look kind of odd when they're not flapping, but then they look pretty cool when they are flapping. I can get behind these wings. I like them. Next up, we got three different stars here, starting with the power star. A powerful star that can be used to magically enhance things, grants immunity to knockback, grants immunity to fall damage, grants longer invincibility after being hit. Now, my question is, does it have a look or anything? No, I don't see any looks. Okay. Next one, rainbow power star. Doubles total health, mana, and defense, grants immunity to knockback, and increases invincibility time. Time. boom look at that. i have a thousand health 400 mana defense was at zero so zero times two is obviously zero but that's not too bad and then we got the last one the legendary rainbow power star 9999 defense dun 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 I think I fucked up that whole entire sentence in rhythm. Look at that. Wow. You actually you actually flash like the, the star was supposed to do, uh, which is pretty cool. We also have 9,999 defense, meaning pretty much nothing can kill us. Next up, we got the island music box. You already know what time it is. Let's, let's bump this music. Hey. 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 My game froze for a second right when the right when it dropped. That's fucked up. I would leave this music playing in the background, but you know, it might be a little too distracting. It's a little too bumping for me. Don't want to get distracted here. I'm going to just start jamming out if I leave it on. All right, next up, let's see some transformations here. So we got a bunch of Goomba transformations here. We're going to go through them uh, fairly quickly and uh, just see what they look like. We're, we're going to go down here into the open, the open outside. Starting with the regular Goomba. Look at that. Look at him. Got a walk-in animation and everything. Maybe I should take this off. We got the blue Goomba. Next up, we got the black Goomba. What the fuck? Okay, I don't think this one works. <laughs> yeah, this one doesn't work. Next up, we got the engrossing Goomba. What an interesting name. Oh, no, my bad. It's not even engrossing. It's Gloomba. Okay. This one just looks like the blue one. Next up, we got the Hyper Goomba. Is that what they said? Hyper Goomba. Do I go faster? I don't know. He's just green. We got the pink Goomba. Look at him. This dude looks sad. He looks like something is up with him. We got the uh, gritty Goomba here. Okay. Yeah, I can see some grittiness in this. Next up, we got the dark Goomba. This one looks dope. And then last but not least, we got the skeleton one. Dry Goomba. Yeah, I don't know why the 
black one doesn't work it just turns me into chippy look at that but on to the next set of transformations next up we got the toad transformations boom look at that turn into toad you get the little who doesn't love that let me see let me see his animations and everything let me take some stuff off here kind of turns red when he jumps okay uh the animations are very very nice i can get behind them i don't think they're as cool as the uh the mario mod we reviewed a while back but they're still pretty good next up we get we have a red toad whoa big difference i'm assuming a lot of these aren't gonna be too crazy in terms of difference uh, a lot of them are very similar color like there's a the yellow one and then the light brown one like i could barely tell blue black brown gray green i don't know what color that was teal maybe purple i think no dark blue my bad this one is purple and there you go that's all of them so that some of these transformations you know they're purely pretty much cosmetic whatever you prefer all right next up we got some fun transformations here we got the non mario bros what the hell are they called the the wario bros there you go let's start with uh the diagonal waluigi transformation waluigi time okay we got waluigi here look at him diagonal i don't know what this diagonal stuff means it's a meme of some sort that i don't know of. look at that when he falls down god damn all right let's see the regular transformation time. boom take that off wow this one looks cool this one definitely looks cool he, he, i thought he was gonna be a lot bigger than this but uh no, i guess this is accurate size for uh terraria I, I guess next up we got wario here we go start with the diagonal one again i don't even know what the hell these are from meme a meme game something but there you go there's the diagonal one and then here we go wario himself god damn he's got some big ass teeth and next up we got the ladies here daisy transformation wow look at that if you ever wanted to be daisy playing terraria boom bada bing next up we got peach of course how come daisy didn't make a noise when i put hers on peach it looks exactly like daisy oh almost like they're pretty much like that in the regular games and last but not least we got bowsette i don't know how to feel about this one i'm just there you go there's bowsette let us now check out the mario bros himself Go diagonal version go ouija go ouija okay i can get with the go ouija one and then we got the go regular Ouija luigi one looks beautiful well what sprites are these from I don't, even, I don't even know what sprites these are from is this mario world this might be mario world sprites look at that he's got a little cool falling animation with his hat you know kind of falling uh what about guigi does guigi have that yeah and next up here mario diagonal version boom i don't know what the hell this one is what is this granddad okay interesting paper mario this one is fire doesn't move his hands at all when he runs okay and last but not least mario himself of course yeah these are definitely the super mario world sprites we got some more transformations here the yoshis but we're gonna take a break from that and we're gonna get to the weapons so let's start off here with uh some throwables starting with the red spiked ball it says sticks to the terrain and damages enemies who touch it damages enemies up to 10 times before breaking boom so it's like uh they're like the spike balls but way way better Let, let's let's drop an enemy in front of it go ahead goomba god damn rest in peace let's go ahead let's summon another goomba here and let's throw a turnip at him yoink i don't know why i said yoink uh, let's get a blue goomba now and we got a yoshi's egg of course the yoshi's egg is gonna do some damage come on we got the uh boomerang flower 20 damage will that kill him nope but that means we use the hammer flower next yeet that was a that was a terrible throw all right let's go ahead let's spawn in some more enemies here and i got the club i have no idea what the club is from but let's club some fucking goombas rest in peace i got the large hammer boom i think these are the hammers from uh paper mario right i don't know like i said i haven't played a lot of these games in a minute uh, i did buy the new paper mario though and i still haven't played it i need to get around to that hurtful green hammer boom rest in peace savage super hammer boom rest in peace listen to the purple hammer <laughs> let's go ahead clobber someone with it and next up we're moving on to these spiked balls here um i don't know if i should spawn like a, a tougher enemy or what here spawning some copter goombas and uh let's take out the ball and chain here these are the old flails where they kind of just shoot out straight not like the new 1.4 flails which i'm very excited for team Mahler to come out and we get to see all of those modded flails become the new ones let's go ahead let's try uh I don't know. I, I don't know what enemies spawn in without spoiling too much. Like, look at Goombas. I just spoiled that. Spawn in some more Goombas <laughs> of different colors. We got the Chain Chomp Chomper. Boom. I wonder what it does. Oh, that's what I expected it to do. Red Spike Ball and Chain 
Of course, it's a flail. Hold up. We can leave it like that. Holy shit. This is a big flail. All right, I got a dummy here for these next couple of weapons. Blue shell. You can read what it says there. If it says something super interesting, I'll read it out loud, okay? But for now, I'm just, just sliding through it like these turtle shells are gonna slide. And we also got some uh, infinite weapons here, like the infinite, like the infinite hammer flower. So we can throw infinite hammers. The infinite boomerang. So we can throw infinite boomerangs. And homing power stars. Sure. Oh. Is that how they work? Do I, I, do I need to aim? Maybe if I take out like an actual enemy, I don't need to aim. Let me take out some bandits. Oh, they got fucking destroyed. All right, let's see the turtle shells in action. Blue one. See, I expected the blue one to uh, grow wings and then go kill the person who's in first place. But look at the little animation they have. They kind of slow down a little bit and then they disappear. Dark shell, green shell, a little bit slower. Gray shell, very slow, Jesus. Orange shell, purple shell, red shell. But that was all the shells, I know, exciting. All right, next up, we got some weapons here that may or may not be destructive, so I should probably get away from the lab. Boom, let's go over here, where the lab is not in any harm. We got the turnip cannon. I don't know if I need turnips to shoot it. Let's see. No, we do not. This thing seems okay. A little slow for, for it being a cannon. I think I throw them faster, honestly. We got the bullet bill blaster. Come on hand size bullet build blaster don't let the size fool you it packs a punch let me see it a little slow a little slow but you can shoot multiple and it pierces so i can see it being useful all right these next two might be destructive destructive because one of them is a bonsai bill launcher and then one of them is a staunch strange cannon okay this one might not be too bad let me shoot this one first uh i don't even know what it shot oh it's shooting yoshis that are like hitting them with a little meme smile okay and then let me see the bonsai bill launcher oh my god i did not expect it to be that big i know bonsai bills are big but like this is terraria i didn't think it was gonna be that big when does it stop when does it stop can i grab it no i can't grab it uh oh oh well there you go bonsai bill launcher everybody now since it fired right there you know i have to test it i have to test it i gotta take a chest put some items in it and see if it gets destroyed by the bonsai bill launcher let's see nope the bonsai bill cannot take down the chest okay all right the last couple weapons in this mod i accidentally didn't put this cannon with the other ones oops power star cannon that shoots stars who would have thought but now let's get into the summoner weapons this is what i'm hyped for right here let's start with the thunder staff summons thunder fangs to zap your enemies oh this is a big fucking summon dude all right let's spawn some enemies here and let's, let's get them zapped get them zapped all right he's not zapping so the mod oh wait nope i saw a little, little lightning bolt or something shoot out for a second there I, I thought it was just running into them and not zapping them but there you go there's that let's see the uh the chomp shark summoner it's just a regular chain chomp no chain though so it's more of just a chomp well yeah i guess it's a chomp shark let's go ahead let's summon in some bandits here oh my god ate them before i can even summon the other one. Oh my god now i wonder if i put on like stardust armor do you think i can have multiple because these things are they're, they're pretty damn big boom oh my god <laughs> Let me spawn in like the King Slime or something because like it's over. Boom. King Slime. Devour him. Please. They're actually taking a lot longer than I thought they would. But it's still not too bad. All right. Next up, the Chained Chomp, which I'm assuming is just a stronger Chain Chomp. Oh, I've seen a lot of mods use AI like this for uh, summons, specifically like Wall of Flesh Hungry summons. So these ones, they do a lot more. So the King Slime should get like insta kill pretty much. Yep. They're doing like 400 a hit. Good job, boys. Okay, they're still on me after I de-summon them. Very interesting. I don't know how to de-summon them then. All right, we still have one left. I couldn't get rid of them. Next up, we got the potted piranha plant. This I'm very excited to see. Is it a century? No, it's just another fucking plant that comes out of me or a thing that comes out of me. What the hell? <laughs> Does like 132 damage. Nice. And then last but not least, we got the toy toad, which is actually really, really cool. Because I believe this is from the Mario vs. Donkey Kong Battle of the Minis or whatever the hell that game's called. Never played those, but they look like cool games. Let's see all these dudes in action. They're doing work. If you ever wanted to be a summoner with Mario-themed items, well, there you go. Now, all these items are probably better than what Terraria 1.4 has. 
Thanks for summoning. All right, so next up here, we got some explosives. So we got to get away from the world or get away from the lab again. Back over here at our bonsai bill area. And we got the infinite bomb bombs. Now my question is, or bomb bombs, whatever the hell you want to call them. They don't walk around. Okay, I thought they were going to walk around. That's a pretty big explosion. You know, I'm just going to test it on chest. Don't fall. Just going to test it on chest just to see if it breaks the chest or not. Okay, and then we got the non-infinite ones if you want to use those. Uh, we got the boo bomb, a bomb that releases many boos. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know if this is safe or not. Oh, it died. Many seems like a lie if we're being honest. Does my summon attack boos if they're not moving? No, it doesn't. Okay, very nice AI then. Uh, but yeah, the summon's like one boo at a time, so the many boos is a lie. We got the NPC bomb, a bomb that summons town NPCs. This is very interesting. Whoa, how many fucking town NPCs? Oh my god, they're all fucking Mario ones. <laughs> Okay, didn't even know they had Mario Town NPCs. We'll get into that later, I guess. And last but not least, Super Ba Bomb. Bomb Bomb. Doesn't look like it'll ever go off or will it? Warning, this may crash your computer or destroy your world. Okay, maybe we'll save that one for last. All right, we got some Yoshis to look at here. Yoshi accessories, not mounts. Yahoo! Boom. Turn into Yoshi. Look, he makes a little. Does he do a flutter? Oh, let me see if he does a flutter or not. I don't think he'd do a flutter in this form. Maybe when you have him as an actual mount, but definitely not in this form. There's the green one. Blue, red, pink, purple, yellow, orange? That's yellow. Light blue, orange, brown, I think. Light brown, dark blue, black, gr white, white, gray, something like that. Other orange. And then we got Bushi. Oh. This is amazing. And then we got TJ Henry Yoshi. Yahoo! What the fuck is TJ Henry? I'm see, I'm not up with all this Mario lore slash memes. And then we got the dry Yoshi. Who doesn't love the dead Yoshi? Let's go over some of the pets and light pets we can get here. We got the chomp shark. Oh my god. What did he do to me? Why is there blood everywhere? This is the ultimate life form. Summon the chomp shark at your own risk. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, next up, googly eyed fruit. Some of the Yoshi that got turned into a googly eyed fruit for questioning logic. Damn. Apparently he does damage to things. That's cool. L let me see him in action then. Go ahead and uh, kill this zombie. Okay, they lied to me. Next up, we got the Shine Sprite. Hell yeah, this is a dope light pet. I can get behind this. Who doesn't love Shine Sprites? Very, very bright too. Look at that. Next up, we got Keezer. Look at him. Funny looking dude. We got Stolen Wallet. Some of the bandits help you steal coins. Nice. Uh, we got spooky lantern. Some say lantern ghost to help guide you. Who doesn't love a lantern ghost? Another light pet here, I believe. Actually, I don't know. I'm not seeing any light. Uh, we got ice cream cone. Some is the adorable vanillion. Don't know who the fuck that is, but look at him. Adorable, right? And then we got the head crab. Summons the amazing wolfch. So he said that wolfch. Ew, they, that legit is a head crab. What the hell? All right, so here we are going into the mount section here. And we got a lot of mounts, as you can see. Let's start with the uh, more distinct ones, starting with the baby clown copter key. Boom, look at that. Got us a little baby clown copter. Now let's see the regular clown copter. Hell yeah, this is the one that I fuck with. And then we got the ultimate rainbow baby clown copter. Ultimate rainbow one. Holy hell. Next up, we got the Goomba shoe. It smells like the inside of a Pierre socks. Interesting. It's a Goomba shoe. Well, well, what do you expect? Can I step on things with this? If I can't step on things, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little upset. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, sir. We got the heavy feather, your weight, and the seeds ain't helping, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got the winged blocks here. This one is very cool. I like this idea. I don't know why our character is like that, though. And I believe that's it for all those more distinct mounts. And now we get into the Yoshis. There's a lot of them, as we can see here. So I'll just take out a bunch of them. And real quickly, just, just look at them. Because some of them all have, they all have different things they do. So you can see here, briefly swim in lava, resist fire, walks on fire blocks, uh, water buffs. This one doesn't do shit. Immunity to daze. Like, as you can see, they all have special things that you can pause and get a nice little, little read in there to see what they specifically do. Some of them don't do anything. Uh, and they're just like sort of vanities, different looks, you know? But uh, let's start with the regular one. Hell yeah. Can we do a flutter kick? Come on. I'm going to take off the boots. Can we do a flutter kick? 
We can do a double jump without boots on or without anything that adds in a double jump, I think. We got the red one. He's red. Blue one. Teal one. Orange one. Purple one. Pink one. Look at that. Got a little, got a little heart effect around it. Light blue. Gray. Dark blue. Brown. Black. Yellow. Noseless Yoshi. Who can, who can forget noseless Yoshi? Yoshubs. What is this? A special ride with Yoshubs the Yoshi. Don't know what the fuck that is. And we got the festive one. Look at that. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so in terms of items, I think that's everything, unless I legit just missed one of these chests. But let me open up the items here too, because look, there's a lot more items. Some of them are kind of weird. They don't really have a place that I wanted to like specifically review them. Like there's these seeds, there's like these things, these hint blocks, which like give you like all the information you need, as you can see. Paragraphs of text you can read. Um, there's like expert item boss drops, which are very cool. There's like times or, or clocks right here where you can skip time. There's, there's a bunch of lot of other little things in here but now let's get into the crazy part which i expect to be the enemies but look at this there's a lot of enemies here i don't know which ones are bosses which ones aren't maybe let's start with the uh town npcs just to just to see what's up with them see if they sell anything what's up everybody it's vivian of course who the fuck is vivian i don't know <laughs> but she sells a bunch of stuff there oh my god why are you guys all like stacked on top of each other we got the coopster look at that he sells a bunch of weapons you can also bribe them to get like a note look at that we got goom Bella, who doesn't love Goombella from Paper Mario? One of the good Paper Marios. Um, we got Balloon Toad. I'm assuming he just sells balloons. Yes. We got Chester, of course, Chester, which sells you clown copters. And last but not least, I think. Actually, no, hold up. There's that a Harry Toad. Is that his name? Sells a bunch of stuff too. Boom. Mysterious Fruit Trader. Is that Yoshi? That looks like Yoshi. But look at that. You can get Yoshi stuff. Maybe I gotta have these town NPCs in a in a future NPC battle video. I don't know. Let me see them in action. Oh my god, who threw the egg? That was cool. All right, let's see some enemies though. We obviously have seen the Goombas here. Actually, am I god mode? Go ahead, let me toggle god mode on. We've seen the Goombas here. Uh, we got the Copter Goomba, we got the Flag Goomba, which does the Flag Goomba summon in more Goombas? He does summon in more Goombas. And then we got this dude right here. Actually, hold up, Spike Cap Goomba. Can't forget about him. Is that all the Goombas? Uh, let me see. That looks like all of them, besides the, the, wing the winged one. But we got the Goom Boss. Oh my god, look at him. This dude looks hilarious. He got his own boss bar icon at the bottom. Amazing. Makes a very interesting, interesting noise when you kill him. But there you go. He's dead. And look at that. Drop me a little item. There's a lot of enemies near me. We got a treasure chest right click to open it. Boom. I don't know. What the hell did that give me? Coins? All right. Let's go ahead. Let's check out some more enemies here. Maybe just go from the top and go down, I guess. We got the blue praying at Mantis. We got the claw daddy. I fucking hated these things. We got the corrupted flopsy fish. Look at the flopsy fish. No, these aren't the, 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 the fish we're used to seeing. Now, these are the flopsies. We got a green one, too. We got another... The mantis look at them i'm um, assuming these creatures would probably be better in water but you know whatever i'll let them suffer for now we got the bandits of course blue green killer that one okay a very interesting looking look at them what the hell purple red that one that's a very very bad red we got the dark star which is a boss holy fuck is this duke fisher on what the hell is this duke fisher on ai <laughs> Let me just grab him. You got any different forms? No? It seems like he does the same thing. Okay. We got the giant Thunderfang, another boss here, and I'm assuming you kill him. You get some of the thunder themed items like the summon staff and stuff yeah Should probably get like a summon to help me kill all these enemies uh let me actually go grab a summon right now just to do that all right next up here we got a king boo no don't summon him not yet not yet we got corrupted dry guy oh my god that dude got fucking destroyed we got the chomp shark can't even see him oh there you go chomp shark flurry hold on i can't see past all these items flurry boom toady who doesn't love the toadies? Actually, these things are kind of annoying if I remember correctly. We got a whole lot of bats. I'm not going to summon all of them, especially since my summon keeps killing them. You got the, the goonies. Hefty goonie. Look how big that dude is. Oh my god. We got Kamek. Can't even see him. There he is. Paragoomba. We've seen that one already. Oh, picked up a green screen block. Oops. We got a Galoomba. Can you stop killing everything? All right. I had to rejoin the world since the Chain Chomp Windy summon. Galoomba. Look at him hilarious looking galoom brat boo we know about the boos already boo buddy which is like a smaller boo all right i heard enough 
Next up, Dark Boo. It's just Boo, but dark. Wow. We got Bushi, Dry Boo Guy. Is that their actual name? We got Eerie. Just a whole lot of spooky ghost characters. Giant Shy Guy. Holy hell. Kamek again. Mega Mole. Look at him. That's a mole, all right. I'm bouncing on his head. Can you step on everything's head in this mod? You can. I was wondering if you could. That's pretty good. Pretty good feature they added in here. Uh, we got the the regular mole right there. Who doesn't love these things? The ninjas. I fucking hate ninjas. Paragloom Galumba. And then we got the piranha plants. Look at them. These things just they just look annoying. Like they're not even touching me or anything. They just look annoying. We got the running flurry. Look at him. He, he's running. They weren't lying. We got the bumpity. <laughs> Look at the bumpities. Look at them. Great enemy. Dark fly guy. We got a dark shy guy. We got a, what is this? Dry guy. Okay. Fat guy. God damn, they weren't lying. We got the, the fly guy multiple. Nothing happens when I summon that. Green fat guy. Pink fat guy. Corrupted shy guy. Shy guy. Multiple, but it just summons one of them. I don't know. Yellow fat guy. Lemon drop. Shy Guy, Flightless Goonie, Goomba, we already saw the Goomba, Blue Koopa, Dark Koopa, Golden Koopa, 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 you see all the Koopas, Mecha Koopa Chomper, oh my god, I'm over here murdering everything, my bad, my bad, I, ca I can't step on the floor, it won't let me, she can throw some turtle shells here, you know, get everything out of the way so I can uh, continue spawning in more, we got the Swooper, I fucking hate Swoopers in Super Mario World, they're not even spawning in, we got the Dummy Thwump, does he does he make the ooh noise? Let me hear. No? Maybe because I'm in God mode. Let me let me see. He doesn't like slam into you or anything. You just can't get around him. Okay, kinda kinda upsetting. We got the balloon seller. Wait, we already seen him. Go kill something for me, balloon seller. I think we've seen everything else. Oh, actually, hold up. Toy toad salesman. Okay, he sells toy toads. Yeah, we pretty much have seen everything. Tweeter. It's like the last thing. So we saw all the bosses, except for King Boo. And uh, let us go ahead and finish this off with uh, King Boo. Where the hell is he? Boom. King Boo. They got the music and everything. Look at him, he's chasing me. Oh, whoa. Is this the Luigi's Mansion music? It sounds like it. Let me go ahead, grab a hold of him, and murder him. He's got a lot of health. Holy shit. Got a little strategy I made up here. Step on his head while also hurting him with the tome. See you later. Holy fuck, what is that noise? Holy shit, they're getting loud. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, so what did we get out of that? I have no idea. King Boo Crown, worth 80 gold. You can either sell it or bring it to Professor Egad. So that was the entire Yoshi's Island mod. Couple things that I probably missed out on, but I recommend checking out the mod. It's a pretty big mod. It's got bosses, it's got progression, I believe. So check it out. It's probably worth playing through. Checking out all the cool items, especially if you love Mario and Nintendo stuff. And shout out to the creators of the mod, this mod and the uh, the Mario mod. That Mario mod was cool and this one's very cool too. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to follow my Twitter. I'm streaming there a lot. Come through. I'll see you. I'll see you all next time. Bye 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 bye.